Hello guys, I thought I'd try a different angle in my car um, with the camera. I don't know why. It's probably going to bug me and I'm probably going to go back to normal, but screw it. I thought I'd try it. It is super hot today. It was about 20 degrees today. I'm just on my way to work. Yeah, not really much to report, really, or update you on. Um, I had a bit of a very strong willpower earlier. It took a lot out of me today. Um, 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 yeah, I picked up my sister from work and she was like, I'm starving, I'm absolutely starving. And I just went, I haven't got my purse. And, um, sorry, yeah, I picked her up from work and she was sort of, I'm so hungry. And there's a McDonald's down the road from us, or from where we work. And I just instantly went, haven't got my purse. And, um, oh, I hate that mirror. Oh well. And yeah, she got a Big Mac and fries and a Coke. And she's going to me, do you want anything? And I went, no, not particularly. And she went to me, are you sure? I was like, yes, I'm sure. She went, not even a milkshake? I went, no, I don't want a milkshake. Are you sure I can get you a portion of fries? No, I don't want anything. But um, yeah, anyway, she um, I had to pull through the drive-thru and bought, order her a large. What is that noise? It's an alarm going off. Um, I had to order a Big Mac meal. Um, and a double cheesecake burger with no ketchup. Oh my god, it smelled so good. But for this holiday, me and Cooper have like decided um, that we're not going to eat any more junk food and I'm sort of going to cut back on my sugar. I do eat a lot of sugar and a lot of sweets and a lot of chocolate and stuff. So I've sort of said to myself, no more. If I finish work, nine times out of ten I'll go down the sweet aisle and I'm like, no, I'm going to have to sort of cut off all my loose ties and just sort of say no to that. Um, we sort of agreed, no more chocolate. Or not, <laughs> no, no more chocolate, no more sweets, no more sugars. I think the only sugars that we can have are like natural sugars. And like, I can't drink tea or coffee without at least one sugar. So I think that's, that's it. And my dad, he's on a no sugar diet and he's been put off sugar now. Every time he eats something that's like sugary. Like the other day, my mum bought some donuts and he was like, no, thank you. I don't really want one. And they were just like the sugar coated donuts, like the ring donuts. The donut says she bought she bought something and he was just like no I don't want one. We were like why? He was like because I don't want I don't want it, I don't want sugar. And we were like, oh my god dad. So he's kind of like my inspiration at the moment. If he can do it then I can do it. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, daddy. Um his birthday's coming up soon. A couple of weeks, so I need to get him a present. I don't know what to get him. <laughs> and then we've got Father's Day at the end of the month and I'm just like, God. So yeah, I'm trying to sort of cut down on my sugar levels. It's like my weakness. And bread and pasta are my two weaknesses as well. But it'd be worth it. I mean, I want a, a slimmer version of me by I've got two months. I mean, because Coops is not exactly... She's not big. Coops is probably about the size that I want to get down to. But she wants to sort of tone up a little bit. I mean, her last holiday was when I went with my ex-boyfriend, which is probably back in 2007, 2008. I can't remember. One of those years. I just want to lose my chin. My, my punchy chin. And my arms. So yeah, I'm just stuck in traffic right now. Talking to myself, or to you guys, but you guys aren't actually here yet. Um, should have bought a bobby pin. I thought my hair's gonna fall out. Um, yeah, I've got to wait till half past ten tonight, so I probably won't be vlogging tonight. I'm gonna work tomorrow. I need to talk to Anne actually, so that about my hours and what days I can work and stuff. Um, I can't, I still can't believe that I've actually got another job. I'm just actually off the customer service desk. I'm so 
happy. I mean, I mean, for months, months and months, like even before Christmas, I was saying to myself and I was saying to the checkout manager, look, I don't want to be on the desk anymore. Please, 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 can you get me off? And she was like, but there's no one else trained. And I think to myself, I cannot be the only one in the store that's desk trained. It's a joke, it's an absolute joke. But apparently I was, so I was I was quite angry and bitter, but um, I'm actually quite happy. But now I think about it. Serena, who got the 39 hours in HR, she's had a week in training and she doesn't like it. She said that she, it's boring and everything, but I'm thinking, oh shit, I don't want that to happen to me. But my job's different. I'm still a trainer. I'm staying active. I'm like meeting new people and everything. I'm doing workshops. So I'm still seeing everyone. I'm just not stuck in an office like she would have been. But she's just not happy and it's like, well, you chose the job. It's weird. It's very strange. It's very hard. That was my, that was my manager. Or my, my current manager, should I say. My new manager is Anne and she is not to be angered. Oh, no. But yeah. But like I said in, in my in like Friday's vlog, it still hasn't hit me that I've actually got the job. I'm still on my normal department. I don't know. It's hard. It's very hard. But yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm not going to work. Uh, yay for work. Anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow probably. Take care. I love you all. Bye bye. Ah.